All right, ladies, this video is strictly for the men and fellas. This is why you should never pursue a woman. Let's get to the show. All right, we're going to get right into the material. And I am suggesting that we replace the go-to marriage quote from being he who finds your wife finds a good thing and finds favor from the Lord to Proverbs 19 and 14, which says, houses and riches are from fathers, but a prudent wife is from the Lord. So the Bible says that God gives spouses and that God gives wives in his timing. And we also see this in Genesis 2, when God gave Eve to Adam. Genesis 2 and 21, and the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had made, had taken from the man, made he a woman and brought her unto the man. Again, the Lord brought the wife unto the husband. So know that wives are given, they are not caught. And this is why Proverbs 31 was written for men and not for women. It is a mother speaking to her son about how to find a wife. And she starts by asking the question, who can find a virtuous woman? And that word virtuous woman in the Hebrew, it translates out to be a wife. So she is suggesting that not every woman is a wife nor possess wife-like qualities and not every single woman is a good thing nor is a wife. And Proverbs 31 even goes as far as the mother telling the son that you should not give your energy to women. Why? Because when Proverbs 18 and 22 says, when he who finds a wife finds a good thing and finds favor with the Lord, it means that when a man is in right standing with Jesus, that he will see the qualities of a wife in a sea of single women who are not wives and are not good things. And this is why the scripture says that what God joins together, let no man tear asunder. So you have to make sure that God is doing the joining because God provides wives. God is a matchmaker. God provides spouses. And the favor of the Lord that the scripture is speaking about is the favor of the Lord bringing and presenting a wife to the man and her being brought to him because the man is being led by the Holy Spirit and is a submitted son of God. And this is why Psalms 37 verse 23 says that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delighteth in his way. So the Lord cares about the details of a righteous man's life because he is living a life of holiness. But when a man is not a good man, God is not joining um, the man and the woman together, but people are joining themselves together. But that favor of being led by the Holy Spirit is spoke about in Proverbs 16 and 9, where it says a man's heart picks his paths, but God directs his steps, which means that the course of man's life, his will, emotion, thoughts, intellect picks where he goes in life. But the timing and the in-between journey that happens, that's all from the sovereign will of the Lord directing everything, God being in control. How do you meet the right person at the right spot and so on and so forth? You have to be submitted to the Lordship of Jesus Christ and then to be submitted to the Holy Spirit. And this is why we see all throughout the Bible that amazing men of God, when they received their wives, they were never actually pursuing their wives. They just found their wives. And this is why men should stop sliding into random girls' DMs and going on dating apps and um, just all this flesh that's not being led of the Holy Spirit or not having revelation of who the Lord had actually given to you so you can actually be equally yoked together because the Lord said he will provide a help meet that's suited and fit for you. So the reason there's so much rejection and why um, you keep being left on red is because you're pursuing a bunch of women who are not given unto you. They're not fit for you. And you're also re receiving people who are not interested in you because you weren't predestined to like be together. I don't believe in the one I believe that's a whole bunch of crap from Greek mythology, but I do believe in arranged marriages, 
where God is setting people together. And we see this example in Genesis um, 24 verses um, 26 um, to the bottom where Abraham is looking for a wife for his son, Isaac, and he sends out a servant. And as the servant is going on his journey, um, the only instruction that the servant receives from Abraham is that you need to pick a wife from our people. And this is the same thing that the Bible says about we should not be unequally yoked from non-believers or unbelievers. It says, what righteousness does light have with darkness? What fellowship does unrighteousness have with righteousness? So Christians are under no obligation when it comes to how you pick your spouses, but that they have to be Christian. And the outline for a Christian is Galatians 5. And a outline for an unbeliever and a person who is not a believer is Galatians 5 also. And finally, our last reference verse is Psalms 92. It, um, verse 13, and it says, those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in their courts of God. So those who are planted in church community, having accountability and having fellowship with other believers, not forsaking the gathering of the brethren in a body of disciples will flourish, will find wives or whatever. So the most important thing is that you receive Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, because if you're prepared um, to meet Jesus into eternity, if you have the gift of singleness or you have the gift of having a marriage, it's all in the Lord's timing and it's all the same because there is no marriage in heaven. So if you get married on this earth, but you miss the marriage supper of the bridegroom of Jesus Christ and you go to hell, it doesn't matter. So um, make sure that everything is set in eternity as your <laughs> directive. All right. So make sure that you like, comment, share and subscribe and also join our Bible study and share this video with someone where it's helpful. And this is how men should not pursue women because God gives wives and spouses. Thanks for watching.